Starting it down. Wow, here we are, guys. We're here. We're live. A brand new Heads Up Melbourne Hold'em Challenge. 100, 200 high stakes. Heads up. And uh, listen, it's an unusual place here because I'm not on my own YouTube channel at Joingram One. I'm over here on GG Poker working with these guys. We're going to be seeing Fedor Holes, the Young Prince, take on uh, this crazy guy, Limitless. And if you guys didn't know, Limitless called out Fedor back on my podcast it was kind of random and happened back last july i believe and uh finally the match is going to take place the boys are going to be playing today monday wednesday and friday they're going to be playing about 400 hands each session and uh we don't know exactly who who, who the winner or loser is going to be or what they're going to do at the end if one of them loses but i'm going to try to get a side on the match as well too and try to get something excited happen there but yeah a lot of these single race pots you're going to see a lot of small pots you're going to see a uh uh, a, a raise pre and then a call and then a seabed and a call and then you're going to see a lot of I a lot of real not, more not super exciting hands and that's just sort of how heads up normal home <laughs> goes is um you know i find the interesting part sort of in these dynamics just to see what sizes people go with and um let's see if fader decides two barrel here with the king queen offsuit victor check calls with the ace Doctor says, can they see each other? I do believe they can see each other. So Fedor is going to overbet the turn with the king queen. Interesting. Makes a lot of sense. Block ace king, block ace queen. Does it make sense? Eh, it's an interesting spot to overbet. I guess it, make, it does make sense, yeah, just because he's got to have more aces, ace jacks, uh, pocket jacks, pocket aces. Yeah, it makes sense. So let's see if he does decide to bluff this river once Victor check calls the turn. What does he says he has? Says he has an ace, maybe a good jack, but maybe I don't know if he would what he does with a hand like jack 10, maybe a hand like jack nine. Uh, maybe he calls those hands on the turn. Uh, obviously, flush draws, he's going to be calling on the turn with maybe some gutters, but I don't think so. Combos, but Fader does five, indeed pop the river. Six, Victor, ace three. Loves Isn't loving five. it, but I, I do imagine he's going to be yeah, calling here. Yeah. He folds, lays it down. Wow, nice hand. Interesting. Okay. Hmm. <clears throat> yeah, it makes sense. It makes sense to fold there. It makes sense. Ace three. I'm just uh, a little surprised he would lay that it one folds. down. Looks like he doesn't want to lay this one down. Maybe he's thinking about a four bet. Maybe I don't know. He does four bet indeed. That's not going to work, unfortunately. Big pot energy's brewing here. Let's see if Fader is going to call or if he's going to rip it all in. All in. And Victor's going to <laughs> <laughs> So Fader takes down a nice pot there without showdown. Uh, Victor needs to turn off the auto reload now. It's going to be fun. On, right? Spice it up. <laughs> Spice it up. Big Pot Energy brewing here. GTO headquarters, Las Vegas, Nevada, where we'd see one of our first moments. Is Fader going to go for a desk check? I, 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 I tightens it up. Does not pull the trigger with a 7 6. And it makes sense. Victor shows down the deuce. 67 yeah, hour pot goes two his way. Yes, yes. Like that hand right there, Fedor. A four, maybe. It's interesting to see if he would have gone for it on a on a blank river. who didn't make yeah, a pair. Or as many options, no limit. True. Lots Let's of think options. About the game. So Fedor, ten jack offsuit check calls here on the flop. Backdoor straight draw. Two over cards as well. Victor, interesting turn spot. Checker bet. Does check back. River's a six. His two pairs counterfeited now, but he has the ace. Let's see what Fedor does. Ten jack. He bets. Maybe tries to get Victor off of a queen or a king. You know, maybe to maybe maybe. Meh. See what Fedor's gonna do. Six hundred dollars in the pot. He does bet. What size is he gonna go with? He does go over bet. Twenty four hundred. That might take it down. Victor, obviously, Fedor is telling him he's got a nine. He might have a six. You know, what kind of sixes could he have? Maybe like a five, six. 
Maybe a six eight and that nice bet by Fedor. I like that sizing. There you go, twenty four hundred dollars. Tries to get him off the queen or the king, and and does get him off the ace there as well. So nice bet by Fedor. Yeah, sometimes it's it's uh, it's pretty similar EV no matter which decision that you choose. Uh, so you can over bet sometimes, oh, okay, you can brief so. quarter sometimes, you can talk. Victor, sometimes. you should be talking. That's the that's the part. <laughs> that's... Uh, part is I should be drinking. Exactly. Uh, you're you're that's... you're not doing either of both right now. I actually I almost finished the bottle of wine. I'll just drink it so cold. So uh, may maybe it's uh, maybe Move maybe to my just right, drink that to my right, right like this. Uh... Uh, one song <laughs> guy said told me my camera like this oh yeah gotta feel bad yeah, like, you know these guys me. are probably yeah. thinking they were going to talk to each other a lot and uh you know i know victor he, victor's shy i think he's a shy guy he gets drunk you know gets a lot of lines stuff like that he's a nice kid so he probably feels maybe a little bit of pressure you know people are watching you know now he's like i gotta drink more and this might get a little out of line i don't know his idea this was <laughs> Ay, 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 papi, colamos, ay, colamos la mota. They know all the guys, they know everyone in poker's kind of watching these these guys play, and uh, they thought they were going to get real trash talk and kind of match, you know. You suck, you're this, you're that. I mean, uh, you know. How is the wine? I was really drinking that wine. All right, buddy, maybe take a, maybe take a break there. Yeah. Oh, what the? Yeah, Spader drinks more wine. They drink a lot of wine or just casual? Uh, sometimes they have trouble. Going to sleep, so just, just, just. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Peter Close says, Is it just me, or is the atmosphere between both of them kind of awkward? Like being on a date with a girl and you realize that it's not working without a bigger amount of alcohol. <laughs> it does seem like that, doesn't it? This is like a weird first date. I mean, maybe one of them's got a, you know, maybe one of them just puts the armor on the other. I don't know. You welcome them in, like, you know, what do you do in this spot if you're on one of these kind of day? Yeah, I guess, yeah. Victor going for the bluff on the oh, river, okay, not gonna okay. work. Fader with the two pair raises yeah, and so, takes it down. All empty. No more. No more. So. <laughs> I have second one too, but that was fast. Yeah. So Fader three bets nine ten offsuit. Give me three bet and that's sometimes. Victor calls Queen Jack offsuit flops five four four. Fedor once again could bet actually is a pot you can bet big on. <clears throat> Seems like uh you can go for like uh twenty seven hundred. Yeah, you really can't go wrong betting small one third most of the time. And he does bet one third. Victor backdoor flush draw could could decide to float here with Queen Jack. See what he decides to do. He does call. Turn is an eight. Now to get card for Fedor. This is the kind of spot you find yourself in when you are three betting that really wide range pre-flop is that you might know that you should three bet often and or three bet this 20% of the time. And then on the flop, you want to be betting that some percentage of the time. So you want to bet small and then you end up on a turn like this with an eight where uh, this is where the decisions can really start to, to impact you because this is where people are really messing up their strategy. So in these three bed pots on later streets, this is where the edges I feel like are to be had right now against other really good players. So if you're out there wondering where should I get better at, I think that this these kind of spots are, are important to understand and to think about. And Fader does bet the turn, takes it down. Victor's got to fold out that queen. Very nice hand by him. Super Learner says, although it's a little slow, it's nice to see the style of heads up. They're talking in real time. Imagine if Polks and D next did this. Yeah, I could see that. Victor deciding to go off again, once again, going to the bathroom maybe, getting a glass of wine, getting a bottle of wine. Not sure what he's doing. But yeah, World Series of Poker, I'm guys. Here, don't worry. I'm here. Yeah, yeah. I'll just, I'll just actually happen, so People are excited about it. <laughs> I mean, this bottle of wine is pretty strong, man. It's so rough. I... I'm, That's I why can't I asked you in the contract. Should we? Can I use the <laughs> doping enhancers or not? But yeah, uh, I get it. It's okay. I am just. I'm super happy. Actually, I can work and do it. Just usually, it's not good. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. 
And for all the Urex, I'm sitting 5,001k. If someone wants to call me, just uh, join, join me. You fucking talk, talk shit, motherfuckers. <laughs> uh, especially the dog pop. <laughs> Yeah, please sit him so uh, he's, he's not focusing on this much more and that would be... Basically, he said he, he's sitting. Oh, so, oh, lock in, boys. Lock in. Queens versus Jack-9. Three Jacks for Fedor. This could be a big pot for the young prince, Fedor Holes. We got our first big pot energy of the match here. We need our rocket ships. Where's my smoke? Let's see if Fedor can stack them here. What size is he going to go with here? Victor, I don't see Victor laying this one down on the on the on the flop. He goes small bet, twelve hundred. Okay, twelve hundred. Victor, just check calls. I actually kind of kills the action on the turn. King of Hearts. So Victor picks up the opening straight draw. Might not be. I, I yeah. This is like this isn't a good spot. I don't think for Fader to barrel off if he is bluffing. Once Victor check calls flop, what do we think he has? He's going to have some tens. He's going to have some slow play jacks. Maybe hand like ace queen, queen nine, eight nine. Maybe ace king pairs under the jacks as well too. A lot of those hands have improved now, so some of those hands have improved to one pair. Some have improved to straights. A certain part of that range is going to have to fold. I wouldn't be surprised to see Fader check back here actually. He does bet half pot. Victor most likely not going anywhere now. He's got the pocket queens. But we can't be loving it here. It's got to be thinking about what hands would Fader bluff. Maybe the, the worst hands that Fader decided to bet the flop with, he might bluff again on the turn. Maybe like a 5-4 like a five, four, five, four offsuit. Or 5-4 suited maybe with a backdoor. Uh, probably not calling 5-4 offsuit. But if like a 5-4 suited with a uh, backdoor flush draw, maybe that kind of hand would have bet the flop, then bluff the turn. River is the 5. So kind of get some showdown. Not really for those 5s. Let's see if Fader can stack them. Here we go. Here we go, 12.8K in the middle, 15,000 behind. Fedor Holes going for the first stack into the match. Can the Young Prince do it? Let's see. He's tanking down like a tournament player from Germany. Come on, buddy. Fuck's sakes, let's go. Put him in. <laughs> Here we go. This is dramatic. <laughs> Let's go to Super Time Bank. Come on, buddy. <laughs> he must be wanting Victor to think he's thinking about what to do. No, That's fold. Victor's snap no, folds, fold. not falling for it with the pocket it's queen. Nice. So Victor does not pay it off there. Doesn't even think about paying it off. And Fedor wins a nice size pot. He's up to 36,000 in his stack as Victor takes a puff of that cigar, that Cuban cigar. He's lighting it up. Here we go. Lock in. Okay. <laughs> cigar energy brewing over here. <laughs> okay, Victor. If you're in my situation there, what kind of sizings do you have there? Well, I'll tell you after the match. Okay. Uh, Sounds but fair. I, I don't mind your size. That's okay. It's not I just have holes to call. Yeah, uh, Fader. So when the key guys sometimes bet pocket deuces there, so I cannot uh, give up my pair. <laughs> so Fader Hole is currently in the lead. We're about 100 hands into today's session. Victor three bets the pocket queens. Poker Gem says, I miss Doug versus Dean already. Why are they playing so passive? I don't really know if they're playing so passive. Maybe Doug and Daniel would have played this way if they were one tabling as well. Also, those guys were playing really fast because they were trying to get a lot of hands in. Whereas these two look like they're on a stroll around a, uh, a stroll around like a hundred mile park, right? Just really taking their time. Really just, you know, they, they look like they got, they look like they got no cares in the world right now when it comes to playing a little bit faster. So they really want to balance the timing and, and all that kind of stuff like that. So a lot of these more trivial decisions, and maybe they're not necessarily trivial to, to Fedor because he has a little bit less heads of no home experience and 
and uh, right, he does appear to be balancing the tanking range here. So it's going to greatly slow down the match and slow down a lot of these decisions, especially and they are important as well too, especially this, this good spot right here is a pretty important spot. It's a three bet pot. Victor C bets. He's got queen high backdoor straight draw. So you got to think about what you're going to do there. Whereas, I mean, I kind of criticized Daniel actually for playing too fast in the match he played against Doug because I said he should be taking his time. <laughs> so it, uh, it makes sense for, for, for Fader to be playing a little bit slower. So he raises the flop and gets called. Turn is an ace of spades. Victor, Victor not loving that. Kind of hands Fader will be raising the flop with. Maybe some flush draws. Mm, I think a lot of his sets are just calling here. And Victor shows off a GTO move here. Well, he eads the turn. Very interesting here. What the hell? Okay. So he three bets pre-flop. Bet calls the flop. Now he bets the ace of spades in the turn. He does have that blocker. I don't I don't know how relevant that is. I mean, he must think it's relevant to go with this size. If Fedor raised a flush draw on the turn, would he raise it again here? Facing the sped, I think he would. Queen nine suited. He does call rivers at ace of spades, ace of hearts rather. So I don't know what the hell's gonna happen here. So Victor, free bet preflop, king five seven, bets the flop, calls the raise, and then leads the turn, gets called. He does check the river. Is Fedor going to block? I mean, I think he has to, right? <laughs> okay, okay, here we go. I mean, this is the kind of spot you find yourself in sometimes. And heads up, Nolan Hold'em. Very, very random, very, very weird, unusual. You're uncomfortable. You're not sure what the hell's happening. And uh, then you put in $16,000 in the middle, pray, and your opponent lays it down. And I think Victor's got to lay it down because it looks like Fedor to me has either a two pair hand or maybe a flush, maybe backdoor trip aces. Could add a hand, maybe like ace three, and Fedor does bet. 16,000 puts him in Victor Fold. <laughs> wow. What a hand. Interesting OG. hand right there. So Queen Nine, mm -hmm. Fe Vader, a little smile oh, on bluff. his face. OG? <laughs> OG is blocking chains. No, you said Toji? OG is blocking chains. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so I'm very excited about that. I'll probably be doing a lot more uh, investor-related stuff in the future. Victor, a little out of line here with the 7-6. Caught speeding. This is where we need the truck graphic right here. Fedor, Queen Jack. This 7-6, I mean, it, it, it's probably one of these hands where, you know, it doesn't seem good because you don't have backdoor. You do have a backdoor straight draw, right? But you don't have backdoor flush draw go with it. So it's probably one of those hands that if you check raise it here or if you fold, it, it might be a, a similar kind of EV situation. And especially if you think your opponent might not be adjusting properly to the check raise strategy, then you might decide to put this in your check raise range more, more often. And here we go. So Victor does overbet the turn. Going to put pressure on Fedor's ace highs, put pressure on Fedor's threes, put pressure on his flush draws where he folds those kind of flush draws. Obviously, this is the, one of the best hands that Fedor is going to have. Trip jacks. He's not going anywhere. Don't expect him to raise, though. If he does raise, I mean, you know, he can kind of stack a jack on the river if, uh, if Victor has a hand like jack 10 or jack 9 or jack 8. So I don't think he's got to be super worried about that. Does have to be worried about a, a diamond or maybe a spade? I mean, not, I don't think so. So, but I think uh, calling here is going to be the play. He does call. River's an 8. And now Victor might be thinking about taking this to blast off land, going to Rocket Town. The flush draws missed. I think he's going to do it, guys. Here we go. Lock in. Big pot energy's brewing right now as Victor Wilmanowski, 7 6 offsuit, check raises the flop, overbets the turn. He's got a bunch of dog, dick in his hand, that big sausage, Daniel Negreanu style. And Fedor sitting there poker hard, hoping to pray, and this guy shoves it in. He's sitting there, 15. He's praying. Please do it. He does all in. Fedor calls oh, for a $45,000 pot. Nice. Goes over to Fedor Hulls. Victor, <laughs> limitless. Little out of line with that 7-6 off suit. <laughs> <laughs> what did you roll? 
I rolled 98. That's a lot. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, have to do it. Once again, Fader Hall sitting there. Sitting there excited. Anytime uh, you got the Queen High Flusher, you're pretty pumped up. Overbet here from Victor and Fedor probably won't check. I mean, he could check raise here, could he? Hmm, could he check raise here? He blocks the blocks the queen eight. What could Victor have? Pocket sevens. I mean, he would need specifically pocket sevens. I feel like uh, you miss out on value from a flush here. Maybe hand like four or five of diamonds. Maybe nine five of diamonds. It's a very interesting play by Victor. Fedor. I think Fedor does get value from enough hands here to think about making a raise, and especially with that queen in his hand. What full houses are you really worried about here? You know, maybe the guy's got queen seven or pocket sevens. But queen eight, you can yeah, check that flop back sometimes. Oh, queen eight does oh, shove oh. all in. Aye, aye, aye. Victor lays it down. Fedor takes another swig of that water. Victor, the uh, awkward smile on his face. Can't believe what's happening. He calls this guy out and just like reload, that. <laughs> <laughs> Three bet here pre flop. Fedor, 10 jacks suited. Expecting continuation bet here. Very high frequency on these ace high boards. Very good board for the three better. And he does go 2680. I think a lot of the sizes here would be fine. Smaller bet, middle bet, big bet. Victor not going anywhere. He's got ace nine, top pair. You're not going to raise here. Doesn't really. Uh, doesn't really do much, and he does just call. River turns a five. See if Fedor decides to continue. Victor will be continuing on the flop with uh, any ace, probably any king, maybe some pairs lower than the king, pocket eight. I think those hands may be like folding though, but no, that's at six max. Heads up, they're going to call. Never mind. Pocket eight. I've been studying a lot of six max uh, as well, and the six max ranges are a lot different. So, the three by pots and six max are, and that's what's really weird about studying. Uh, I, I think a lot of poker players play, they play. You know what? I saw your queen nine bluff, but uh, uh -oh. I think you're not bluffing. Wow, what a fold. I mean, that seems questionable. <laughs> huh, I mean, that's a real interesting play right there. You're watching on the side? I just watched you bluff me Queen 9. I mean, I didn't really have a calling hand. But it's okay. Here we go. Victor flops top pair. Open and straight draw. Fader holes with the flush draw and the gut shot himself. That Jack 3 spades might, might think about putting in a little check raise here. Victor not going anywhere with the top pair. Backdoor flush draw. Beautiful hand right here. Yeah, I think these guys, maybe these guys need to up the stakes next week. I want them to, I don't need them to, to feel this thing, man, you know. As Fader does check raise. Damien Barossa says, I'm from Spain, Poppy. I can see that. So Victor does call. Turn is a 9, 10, 8, 9, 7. So Fedor has the jack in his hand, does turn the flush. Victor, top two pair. He's not going anywhere. Can Fedor holes? Stack our, 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 our young hero, Mr. Bottle of Wine, Mr. Cigar. <laughs> if the flush misses on the river, it certainly could, could happen. So Fedor checks it over to Victor. Very unusual check. So he checks the straight over. Victor now has top two pair. Maybe he might think about betting, hoping to get value from a week or two pair. No, he checks back two. Okay. There was a deuce. I mean, check, 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 up, check back on the turn seems pretty standard from, from Victor. Okay. River's a deuce. Now, Fedor. Fedor might, I mean, he's got a bet for value here. He's got a bet. So let's see what size he goes with. Is he going to go with a bigger size? What's he hope to get called by if he goes with a bigger size? Two pairs, a six. Yeah, interesting, interesting decision here for Fedor. The young prince gearing up his battleship. He's looking to get more money from Limitless. He bets small, 2000 That's obviously going to get snapped off. So 
So Victor, take it down. People in the chat, stage. So what, do they, what does Doug mean by state? What does he think it's state? Like he thinks that Victor lays, lays down. <laughs> what, the <hell>? What's <laughs> what the hell just happened there? What a lay down. He's right the there. only one I played against. So I oh, tried to is. learn from his wow. play. Yeah, wow, this will, be, this will be an interesting match. I mean, if Victor, maybe Victor, maybe Victor knows this guy better than he knows himself. We're going to see. Free bet pot here. Chris Capone says Victor's playing too badly. Yeah, I mean, it would seem that way on the surface. That was, a you know, maybe a few, a few hands. I don't know, man. I feel like some of those bluffs were kind of, once you check raise the flop and you bet to turn, like it kind of made sense, you know. I, I, I don't know how how badly that was as played. And now, now the decision to check raise the flop sort of compounds your potential later street mistakes. And then you might say, well, you got to, you don't want to get yourself there in the first place, which I can understand as an argument, but you know, fold in the ace nine. Yeah. That seems questionable. Maybe fold in the two pair. There seems like a questionable play as well too. Here we go again. Three bet pot Fedor bets the flop. He's got ace king. Victor checks back the turn and the river is the king. So Fader holes improves top pair. Actually he's got Kings and Jacks here with the ace kicker. So Victor calls the flop, checks back turn. I think turn check backs is going to be a fine play. You're going to be checking back some hands that can call river bets and having queen in your hand. Seems like a perfectly reasonable option. River's a king. Now Fedor probably going to go for some value. Hope to get called by a queen, maybe a king, maybe hand like king 10, king nine, something like that. I think king nine may have bet the turn actually. King 10 may have bet the turn. So Fedor does bet the river. Can Victor lay it down again, guys? Can Limitless find another fold here against Fedor holes? Maybe thinks Fedor might be under bluffing. You check back the queen, usually to call the river. He does call the river $16,000 pot. Goes over to the young prince, Fedor Holes, as he chips up even more. Rushing. Limitless. So we go three bet pre flop by Victor. 70 to diamonds. Fedor calls with the pocket threes. M. Zeng says, Hi, Joey. Doug says that it's staged. Can, can you guys tell me what that means? What is he, when he says it's state? what does that mean? I don't understand, guys. Shouts to my man, Doug, supreme leader, working hard. Pot size bet here from Victor. With the seven eight of diamonds, not going to necessarily uh, do much for Fedor. He's got pocket threes. So Victor decides to pot here. Interesting. He's got a gutter. He's got a flush draw. Fader with You're the pocket threes. Smiling a little bit, huh? <laughs> yes, yes, nice yes. one. Fedor lays Let's go it down. They're tanking down. Seven eight. Let's get Doug on the call. Let's yes, see what he's got to say yeah. about this. I'm getting curious to get his thoughts. <laughs> Ian Barnett says, best podcast on YouTube. Well done, Joey. Thank you, Ian. I'm glad you enjoy. Right hand center main table. Victor's going to raise. Let's go, Victor. He's coming back. I need some, I need like some Victor energy in this chat, man. We got to, we got to, we got to, we got to, sh- he gets called. I, 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 yeah, this come on, buddy. Time. Hang in there. Let's go. This far, over this far I know. This far I know. Thousand dollars in a stack. Fan <laughs> people says, "Are are anyone heading to Vegas in March for the World Series of Poker Circuit Silver Legacy?" Um, I mean, Vegas is kind of they got the WPT going on here right now. That event's at Venetian. That's going pretty well. Uh, Vegas is kind of popping again. It's starting to pick back up here more and more as time goes on. As we see a three bet pot here, Fedor Ace Jack offsuit. Could uh, could could see bet that board and also could check. He decides to check and Victor bets small with his top pair, open and straight draw. Backdoor flush draw. Fedor does turn that jack. So it's a nice current on the river there. 7,000 in the middle here. Victor turns the flush draw. So he might be thinking about uh, about betting. Four, six of diamonds. If he bets here, he could call by a five, could call by a three. Also gets value from some ace highs as well. Fedor, top pair, top kicker. Might be thinking about check raising here. Be kind of a sweet play. Victor is going to continue betting here with with maybe his sixes and fives and, and maybe a hand like a like a six four. He's going to have some seven eights, some flush draws. So Victor might try to get value here. Could Victor could get or Fedor could get value from worse Jack potentially as well. So here we go, twenty dollar bet. Victor is going to need to get lucky on the river. 
If he wants to win this hand. Vader's in the tank. He does check raise. All in. Call. Victor needs a diamond or a, a deuce, seven or a deuce. River comes down. It's the five. Just Easy like money. that, Fedor Holes takes down a $42,000 pot. Takes a drink of that water, and Victor Melanowski is in shambles right now. He's getting absolutely destroyed by the young prince. The young prince making hands. His hands are holding up. I'm not doubting Limitless. You guys can doubt him. I'm not doubting him, okay? I know the young prince runs pretty well, but I'm not doubting Limitless. So here we go. Three bet pot, five, six of diamonds for Victor. Flops a backdoor straight draw and a flush draw. Fedor might continue here versus the half pot bet. Fedor has the queen jack of spades. So he's got backdoor straight draw, backdoor flush draw. Here we go. Okay, good turn for Fedor. I know where this is going, guys. Lock in. Big pot energy brewing in the main table. $8,800 in the pot. Fedor holes with the queen jack of spades. Turns the opening straight flush, straight draw and the flush draw. Victor... Got to be thinking about continuing here. Get some off ace highs. Get some off some, uh, some, some, uh, yeah, get some off ace highs. Maybe some, I guess 10 jack makes the pair. Jack queen makes a straight draw. King jack makes a straight draw. Yeah, so some of his non pair hands do improve, but it does put pressure on the nine. Potentially could take it away on the river. Will Victor shove it in on the river if he misses, guys? What do you think? Will Fedor just raise here? Maybe Fedor might be thinking about jamming it all in. Try to get Victor off of uh, off of some ace highs. He does just call Rivers a king. Here we go. <laughs> some backdoor flush and straight for this kid. Ay, ay, ay. Don't do it, Poppy. Don't do it. Oh, no. This is the perfect run out, isn't it? Five, six of diamonds. This one's going to hurt. He checks it. Okay. Whew. He backs away from the gas pedal. Victor does not bluff there. Fader holes 15 poker hard right now. Can't believe what's happening to him in his luck this session. He's only been running this way for about five years. <laughs> and now he shoves it all in. Victor snap lays it down. Another pot goes over to Fader holes way. The rocket ships would explode. Normally right now is Fader holes is in absolute yeah, fire mode really right now. Fader dominating victor hundred and ten thousand dollars up in that stack of his he is currently up about ninety thousand dollars as victor gets a glass of water here we go i think that's a glass of water i fear it may be a glass of vodka then it says joy great commentary don't get too no i'm very tilted you know, I, like, I, I see where they're coming yeah? from though oh, they want to see that would be nice players talk. i want to see these guys talk come on victor and, punt it in come on we I I just want to see one <laughs> i mean i did gave you one with six seven but i think i think should be good that's that's not giving. That's yeah. <laughs> See if uh, Victor goes for a bluff here. He does go over bets at king seven. This is interesting. Wouldn't seem wouldn't seem intuitive to me to go over bet with king seven here. I wonder why it is king seven. No spades. I mean, basically, Fedor... Yeah, Fedor might think about calling here with the deuce. So Fedor's in the tank right now, faces the overbet. I wouldn't be surprised if he does call here. So Fedor's in the tank. A little small pot, though. $600 pot. He raises it. Okay. Interesting. Wow, that makes okay. Fedor mixing it up there with the rays with the king deuce on the river. Hmm. Nice play by Fedor. Holt. Maybe not such a good Back up to 110,000. It worked. <laughs> uh oh. Same as uh -oh. Queen nine. <laughs> Lock in, boys. Big pot energy about to brew here. Queen hat Fedor no, holes. Trip dishes. Limitless. A smile on his face. As he holds the over pair. This could get ju juicy right now. <laughs> he does check raise. Six deuce, 10 deuce, deuce flop. Going to be check raising some flush draws, maybe some backdoor diamond draws as well. 
Victor calls, turns the eight of spades. Not, not a good card for either player, as both players are going to have flush draws. Fedor. Probably going to continue betting here. <laughs> the chat is fucking hilarious. <laughs> What's Fedor going to do? He's going to tank him to death. He's going to make him wait for 55 seconds, and then he's going to bet. And he does bet. 1240, he goes with the third pot. Victor's not going anywhere quite yet. A two on the river, Sean says, would be epic. It would be interesting turn, or interesting river, rather. Will, I, I, I Joey, I missed you, Poppy. Thank you, buddy. Victor, oh no, Victor raises. Here we go. Lock in, boys. Big pop, ruin, Victor. <sighs> okay, call a check, raise on the flop. Raises the turn with the queens, so he's trying to get value from a 10. Is Fedor check raising a 10 on the, on the flop? I don't know what's happening in this hand. River is an eight. So if Victor had a flush, this is not a good card because now Fedor has the full house. Maybe Victor raises to get a showdown. Maybe get some value from one spade type hands. If, if, if Fedor raised a hand like a, like a king five with one spade and maybe now he's raising for some value to get a showdown on the river. Fedor might be thinking about leading here, hoping that Victor himself has a flush. Here we go, guys. Will Fedor just jam here? I think it might get, I mean, it might get called. <laughs> so $12,000 in the pot. Fedor holes, attempting to set the record for the slowest poker player in the history of online poker. Hanks down. And he bets 9,000. So he's going to lead the river. And Victor just lays it down just like that. So he gets away from the Queens. Does not lose any more money. $12,000. about that one. I think I might go it. Me too. So no big pots brewing here, guys. You guys know how it gets in these heads-up matches. Sometimes they're just they're, it takes a big hand versus big hand for it to come, and, and there's going to be lulls in the action, and just kind of how heads-up is. So we stick with it, and we kind of see and see what we can see. We see the hands. We see the results. We, we kind of try to pick up some ideas and what they might be doing while we watch and uh, talk to the chat a little bit as well. Talk a little bit of life around here. Victor, check raises the flop with the 10. Turn is a nine, so Fedor continues with King Queen. He's got a backdoor straight draw and two overs. Turn's a nine. I wonder if he's going to bet here. This is a unique spot. Not sure what to do here. And Fedor's spot. I mean, I think Victor could check or bet. And now Fedor. It's a tricky spot. So Fedor does bet. 2880. Not surprised by that. Puts Victor's flush draws and his weak hands. He just check raises air. You to make those fold those hands. Probably isn't check raising a ton of tens. So Victor does check call. Does Fedor, is he going to continue here? And this is kind of maybe where, what trouble you get into when you do check call or when you do bet face a check raise in the flopping call is that you end up in a lot of tricky spots with these sort of like, uh, you know, a marginal hand like this, and then you got to decide, do you bluff the river? And then what size do you do? And this right here is the skill and this is where the skill and heads of is this hand right here is understanding how to navigate here, what size to choose, and then why you're doing it. So let's see what Fedor decides to do. Victor, could we check calling with a flush draw? Flush draw, could have a hand like, uh, I probably would have bet that. Maybe like a jack five of diamonds. And he does bluff, pots it, Victor looks sick. But I mean, this is a great 10 to call. Block no spades, you got the jack in your hand. I don't think he's laying this one down, but he's not happy about it. Let's see what happens here. Can Victor find the hero call? He does call. He's got to feel good about that. Little momentum on his side, $28,000 pot. Goes to this way, Victor. Vader's got a little laugh there with the king, queen of sparks. And I mean, that's that's 
that's where you make it. This is to me, that's the most you would have most interesting spots in heads up Norman Hold'em is that well, how do you think about that? Do you bluff that's that hand? Thing. What hands cool. do you bluff? Why do you bluff them? Like those are the, the things I'm finding really interesting about the game. No right hero now. fold this time. <laughs> no, no. Sometimes when to fold them, when to hold them. No. <laughs> Good hand Victor, a little smile. Okay, he's feeling a little bit better after that hand. As well. So we got something brewing here. Nut flush for Victor. Trips for Fedor. Is Fedor going to hit an eight? I mean, listen, this guy runs pretty well. He might actually hit an eight on this river and hit him with a massive check raise. Yes. So Fedor trip aces might be might yeah, be. Uh, the yeah. background. I think someone got uh, run over. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's a... He does check call. River's a six, so Fedor does not get there one time. And now Victor might go for a big bet here. Hope to get called by an ace. Maybe he goes like 5,200. Maybe he goes 5,200. Let's see what he does. If he goes 5,200, I'm giving away... A 25, no, I can't, I'm not sure what I'm allowed to give away here. He does, I'm so, I, I, I was so close. 5,500. Okay. And Victor gets the call, takes down a $14,000 pot. Fedor does not fold the trip aces. Very, very nice hand there. Nice bet by Victor. Very nice hand, up to 34,000. Fedor holds still in the lead. My man, N2 Deep LA in the chat. What's up, brother? N2 Deep was at my uh, Heads Up Nolman Hold'em tournament victory we had at the valleys there so thanks shot to too deep as the river look at this fedor a little bit unlucky on this river has that german two pair on the turn still has germany on the river but victor will not melanowski rivers the straight and uh fedor is going to probably bet here for value but no he does check it see if victor can fire a little rocket ship down on fedor only 1100 small bet now fedor Looks like he's thinking about calling or maybe check raising. <laughs> Vader, thinking about check raising here at the Ace Deuce. Pan and knockout says, my son who turned two yesterday never spoke a word in his life. Check raise and a call. So Fedor did go for a little bit of value on that river. Good hand. With Ace Deuce, German two pair. Yeah, finally won. Victor says he finally won. Nice hand for Victor there. Pocket no bet eights. on the turn, oh, sorry, huh? Queen ten. I mean, no heart, no bet. Decided not to. <laughs> you bet you might raise me. We really need to get Victor a massage girl for next week. If I knew I'll hit the king, I will bet. <laughs> That's smart. That's actually very smart. Chad says they are playing so passive compared to Daniel and Doug. Why I, like I don't think it's necessarily they're playing more passive. Often. I just think they're playing at a, at a slow like pace. <laughs> so they're feeling each other out, man. I mean, the match just started right. They're you know they're getting to know each other. They're getting to know each other's play. Yeah, unless, uh, unless you take all my money out of my account, then I won't quit. All right, nice. Okay, that's cool. I'll give you, I'll give you because of that. I'll give you one more bottle. Okay, deal. If you have nothing to do, I mean, why not? It's a fun, fun action. I haven't yeah, doing can... actually long, long, long time because uh, I was uh, being professional. No, so, yeah. we. No, I'm gonna for sure. We can for sure play the 400, and then I'm actually not sure where we are right now. Do you know where we are right now? I'm not like sure, man, But can we see like, it somewhere? I don't know. Let's just play. I'll give you one more bottle. <laughs> yeah, fold, fold, fold. <laughs> I fold. Yeah, man, I'm running cold as fuck. So here we go. Three bet pot. Queen six of clubs for Fedor. King queen offsuit for Victor. Flop comes out. Ace king ten. So Fedor has a straight draw and a flush draw. Beautiful hand for him. Victor, second pair. With the straight draw himself. AW says, Who would you bet on, Joey? I would bet on Cocan Victor. Yeah, yeah, I bet on him, J Boss says. Yeah. Sorry about this camera here, guys. It's a little spazzing out. I gotta like unplug it and plug it back in here. It's just real rant. It's like a it's like a lightning on my camera. It doesn't make sense, but it's it just freaks out. Fedor goes small bet. Victor's not going anywhere. 
Definitely going to keep calling. Turn is a king. Great card for Victor. Makes the trip kings. And uh, Fedor might, might be thinking about blasting off here as well. Three-bet preflop. Has more aces, kings, ace, king. Yeah, he's going to have a lot more stronger hands in this kind of board. Fedor, or Victor calling the flop is going to have a jack, sometimes a queen. Uh, probably not folding a 10. Probably calling with most of his kings and aces. Might fold some of those aces on this turn. Would probably fold all of his 10s and um, maybe fold some of his flush draws if he had one of those. But Fedor does, does check. Yeah, the real next is why is Fader playing so slow? I don't know, guys. I mean, listen, I don't know. I don't know why. I don't, I don't, it doesn't really, I don't know. But he is. So he checks the turn. Victor's going to bet $4,500. Nicholas Garcia says, Joey, where's the super chat donation? I don't think we don't, they have that on my channel. They don't have that on this channel, though. Ay, 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 papi, big pot energy brewing here. Fedor check calls the turn flush on the river for the young prince as Victor so might what, think about betting this hand for value. Be he's got trip kings, but he's, DTO, no, he's saying maybe not. Maybe not. Yeah. He does check it back. What check. a check back by Victor. Yeah. Wow, what a play. <laughs> does not bet it for value. I appreciate, I appreciate the kind words. I mean, come on. I have respect to all the players who play high stakes. I just do it to get action. Uh, I understand. Yeah, that's very true, yeah. Your man got to do what to do to get action. Yeah, Doc Pio said he's playing so slow because he's thinking through his options. It's true. It's hard to understand. That's true. You're right. He is thinking through it. Also, like you said, he doesn't play much as Nolan Hold'em as well, too. But, I mean, he is playing really slow in a lot of these spots. So, But it makes sense. I guess we're, we're used to the speed, man. I'm used to that. That Doug Polk was playing instantly sometimes. Usually I'm getting very slow if that, I but... check back and I'm ahead. Like if I should bury that. I think that's wrong. It's actually one of the only things that kills me. <laughs> I understand that. What did he say? I couldn't really understand him. So two pair here for Fedor. Victor has opened in a straight draw with the flush draw. Strong hands for both players. Fedor's going to pot it. Victor trying to get some momentum back on his side right now with the 410. Trying to summon some run good energy. Trying to get out of, uh, you know, Fedor, Fedor Hull's been in fire mode most of the match right now. And he does check raise. Here we go. Big pot brewing. Lock in. 410 of clubs for Victor. Open and straight draw and a flush draw. Fader holes. German two pair. Ace nine. Probably not going anywhere. I don't think he's going to go all in here. Looks like I just call. He does call. River is a king and Victor gets there on the river with a straight. Can Victor get paid off? The flush misses. What the hell would he be bluffing here with? If he was bluffing, it'd have to be some type of flush draw. I don't see Fedor paying this one off. But lock in, this could be it. A little momentum back on Limitless's side. Limitless looks like he's awake. And Limitless bets one third pot. Interesting. So Fedor might be thinking about getting away from this. Yeah, what would he be bluffing here with? It's a good question. No. Probably if he has a. Not so good yeah, for Fedor you. Yeah, Fedor's fold. Huh? Nice fold by Fedor Holes right there. He has the gloves in his hand. Two pair. 
Perfect, I mean, perfect, will, perfect will be a different one, I think. I mean, yeah, you probably just had a 10, but... Yeah, yeah, it's actually... With the pocket sixes, goes one third. Vader might be thinking about calling here with ace 10, he does call. River is a six, and Victor makes a full house. And now he's got to be praying. This guy's got a flush. He's got to be hoping. I hope this guy's got a flush. I hope he's got a slow plate. Eight. Victor I maybe decides to even go for uh, overbet here. Maybe he shoves it in. Goes all in. Praise this guy. Has some type of backdoor flush. Very interested to see what sizing Victor chooses here. He chooses 8,400. He's representing... What is he representing he has here? He's representing he has an eight. Or a backdoor flush himself. And really, that's about it. I have so a good hand to call in. But Fedor doesn't have a good enough to call with. He lays good it down. Not to go. $11,000 pot. Goes over to Victor's yeah, lays at the 37000 no good this time. Yeah, we see an action flop here, boys. Lock in. Three bet pot. Ace, deuce, eight. Something tells me these boys are going to work their hardest to get the minimum in, though. But we're going to find out. Victor, ace, 10. Fedor, ace, nine. It's a big pot energy is going to start to build up here. Fedor most likely going to bet small. Max Soda said Vegas is depressing. Can't handle seeing all the gambling addicts. That's one way to look at it. I look at it as people are out here having a good time. And uh, and if they're addicted to gambling, then uh, maybe they, I don't know. What's wrong with that, I guess? I don't know. I mean, I guess, if, you know, if it's ruined their life, sure. But if they enjoy doing it, then... Everyone's could be addicted to something, I guess. So I can see what you're saying though. Turns a king. Fedor, bet flop, gets called, turns a king of hearts. Victor's gonna be calling with uh with some aces, some eights, some deuces, some four fives, backdoor flush draws as well, potentially. Fedor checks it over. Victor could actually check back here. And he does check back for his nine. Oh my god. <laughs> Ay, 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 puppy. Victor, look to have the momentum coming back here. But Fedor makes that miracle two pair. Fedor holes. In the tank right now. What's he gonna go with here? Probably not gonna overbet, right? Maybe he will. No, that's sixty-one hundred. Gets snap call, twenty thousand dollar pot. Oh, yeah, yeah. Goes over to Fedor's way with Good that ace raise. nine. Lucky river for him. Uh, as he's gonna be up <clears throat> under ten thousand dollars. Looks about God and says thank you. Good up, poker. I have to call. I trapped you. <laughs> Yes, yes. And I trapped you, but uh, I mean, if I bet bet, still also going to be trouble. See what happens here. Fader's got pocket kings. Victor, check back the turn. Char River is a four. It doesn't change much. Fader might get some value here for his kings or try to get some value for his kings.
Fedor thinking about value betting. He's got two pair. I don't know what he's going to call by. Maybe he gets called by a pair between eights and sevens. Also block bets as well, too, if, if Victor does have an ace and Victor snap calls. Takes on a nice pot. $16,000 goes his way. Mm. Fedor turns the straight with the seven. <laughs> Definitely gonna bet for value here. Victor, just gonna check call. Needs to fill up on the river. That's 1200. Victor, not going anywhere. He's gonna check call at least one. And he does. River's a three. So one time we see Victor hit a hit a very nice river card when he's probably gonna get a bet and a call. Whoa, what the fuck? Game's my soul. So let's see what Fedor goes with for sizing. Forty eight hundred dollars in the pot. I wonder what sizing Victor's gonna check raise with here, guys. We gotta lock in for a big pot, potentially brewing $2,400 $2, bet from Fedor. Victor is gonna raise. What size is he gonna go with? He's gonna try to extract some value here for the Polish Scarface. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to gun down Fedor holes. Maybe we need a maybe we need Scarface in that room. And uh he pulls out the gun and limitless face and she you know what I'm saying? And he does check raise, 15,600. Fedor, not in a good spot. Limitless could be doing this with maybe a two pair, like a 5-4, like a maybe like a 6-4, maybe missed hearts. You know, maybe he just has the full house, 5-3, 6-3. Three, three. Fedor does call, $36,000 pot, goes over to Limitless's way as the man is on the comeback trail. Victor oh, finally hits geez. himself a good river. Ah. Takes down. Nice size pot. Can happen. Yeah, with the size, I can raise seven to the Luke says, How about a co host like Landon Tice? This is a long session. A host alone would also be more fun to Joey. Uh, well, you know, then then there'd be more talking over people, right? Like, you know, I think one of the reasons why they wanted to try with one is that is that uh, then you can hear the players and I can add in some some stuff as well too. So another three bet here from Fedor, H Jack offsuit, flops ten five four. Victor flops bottom pair, backdoor flush draw. Fedor has a backdoor straight draw, two overs. Fedor's gonna check bet this turn. Interesting. Fifteen hundred into forty three hundred. Victor does call. Rivers of four. Very interesting full house for Victor. Fedor has the ace. And uh, Fedor might think that Victor is getting a little bit out of line in this kind of situation. When he checks it over to him, maybe he has a hand like a, like a one diamond type hand. Maybe like, uh, I don't know if he'd bluff those hands. Maybe like, uh, let's say Queen Jack with one diamond. Let's say Queen Jack with the Queen of Diamonds. Queen Jack with a Jack of Diamonds. So Victor has to decide. Is he going to bet here? Fedor doesn't have any diamonds in his hand. It's probably a good thing if he's going to think about calling with this ace-jack combination. <laughs> so Fedor is in the tank. Yeah, I mean, he's got a pretty tough spot here. I certainly wouldn't fault him for calling. He can beat some hands that Victor might be bluffing with. I think Victor might call the turn with a straight draw in the flush draw combo, and Fedor does call. Nice pot goes Victor's way. He's up to $67,000. He's on a comeback right now. You bet I call. Sounds fair. Uh, I, before, was opposite way. <laughs> I was 
Max Tave says, Joey, we want you in the next, and we want you next up in this heads up series. You are a PLO two card master. I am definitely going to play. I'm definitely going to play somebody heads up. So that is hundred percent going down. And, uh, I don't know who, I don't know where, I don't know when, but Landon obviously is going to get to work. So I'm going to play Landon for sure. So check raise from Victor five, 10 suited backdoor straight draw backdoor flush draw. Fedor does call with the middle pair. Backdoor flush draw himself. Turn is a seven. A little bit of something for everybody here, guys. We got a little spice going on here. A little something. All right. Open and straight draw. And a potential nut flush draw for Fedor. As Fedor, or Victor, takes a puff of that cigar. <laughs> check, check. Rivers of four. So Victor might be thinking about making a bluff here. $4,200 in the middle. Fedor probably has a queen here, right? He's got a queen. He's got some sixes, maybe like ace jack. An over bet from Victor. What's Fedor thinking about doing? He's thinking about making a call here. What does he think this guy has? What would he be check raising on the flop with? Checking the okay, turn with? Okay, okay, okay. Nope. Okay. Must bet, must bet. Little King 3 suited from Fedor. Love this hand. This is the problem with playing heads up is that when you go to play ring, King 3 suited, like you love, I love King X suited because these guys love King X suited so much. And when I'm playing heads up, I love King five suited. So I can't not fold that. I can't fold that hand pre-flop at a full game. So, so let's see if Fedor, is he going to attack here? Three bets pre-flop. That's the flop. Victor has a Jack four. So he calls the flop with a backdoor straight draw and a backdoor flush draw. Turn goes check, check. River, Fedor might think about bluffing here. King three, ah, uh, king three suited. Hmm, interesting. These are these real tricky spots where you go three bet pre-flop with a marginal hand, you bet the flop, check turn, and then you end up in a tricky spot on the river. These are these spots I, you know, this isn't a very common spot to end up in. So he does bet 6,000. I think Victor's gonna call here. He's got the jack four. He's got, he's got no, he folds. Wow. Nice hand to shoot. Nice hand, nice hand. Yeah, very interesting hand right there. I'd be very interested to see what some other people thought about that hand. The fold from from Victor and the bet by Fedor on the river, the, the three bet and uh, bet check bet. Uh-oh, 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 lock in. Lock in, boys and girls. Jack seven five. Fader holds his pocket ace. No, he just took call. No, I, no, ay ay ay. Come on. Oh man, they almost gave us a beauty. They almost gave us a beauty. The turn is the five, and uh, I felt like that flop. We might have seen a little pop fireworks happen. So Fedor going to decide what to bet. Just have the ace of spades. He checks back rivers of seven. What is happening this hand? These guys are committed to playing the smallest pots I've ever seen. Look at these hands and tell me what's happening here. I mean, I get it. He's got to check back the turn sometimes. I get it. I know, I know, I know, I know, I get it. Victor, $1,600 bet. Oh my God, that could have been, that should have been all in. <laughs> that should have been, I mean, probably wouldn't have been. If Victor, let's say Victor check raises the flop. And uh, let's say Fader calls on the turn. Victor's probably not betting. I mean, it's pretty bad. I mean, he probably would bet. And then Fader would call, and then the river would be a seven, and then uh, Victor would bet. Come on, that's probably what would happen, I think. Yeah. Ah, seven deuce offsuit. Okay. Oh, man. Ay, ay, ay. I'm going to stand up after that. I'm going to stretch these legs out. So Victor, once again, the seven deuce special, the limitless hand. He bets it gets called. Still has got the best hand here. Seven deuce. Seven deuce, duck polk right now. Rolling it, rolling around. 
ready to 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 to, to bash up his room at the disrespect of this three bet. Ace eight for Fedor. Fedor calls the flop. Probably not going to call the turn. Victor with the over bet. I like it. I like it. Dare I say GTO. Stamp of approval. Our GTO hand of the day. Sponsored by Upswing Poker. If you want to learn how to three bet the seven deuce off suit and bet flop nice and block. over bet turn, you then you can check out Doug Polk's new course. Seven six for Victor. Flops the gutter. Two overs to the three and the four. Turns the straight. Okay, okay. It's changing for my man, Victor. Turns the straight. Fader is going to check back most likely on this turn. Does pick up a gutter. I, I, I look at that river for Fedor. Fedor has got to be a little bit hard. You know, he felt a little something when he saw that ace on the river. Two pair beats the jacks, beats worst two pairs potentially. And Victor block bets it. Fedor. Fedor might think about going for a race here, and then he's going to get the real bad news. Big pot brewing. Lock in here, boys and girls. Victor balancing his wine range. And then <laughs> Fedor does raise. Here we go. Big pot brewing here. Victor absolutely poker hard right now with the 7-6 offsuit facing a raise against a young prince. He's been waiting for a spot like this. I mean, what are you going to be bluffing here with? You want some bluffs. If anyone's capable of bluffing here, it's uh, it's limitless. So let's see what size he goes with. He feels it. Is he going to go all in? Calm down. He's not going to go all in, chat. I'd say 20,000. Maybe he doesn't go all in. I don't know. It'd be crazy. If my camera freaks out. Victor's in the tank. He's got to be hoping this guy's got a three. Or, I'm sorry, a deuce, rather, my bad. And he does go big, 36,000, yeah. I mean, he's basically praying that Fedor's got a deuce first straight. He has a hand like a, you know, king deuce, something like that. But Fedor folds pretty quickly, takes it down. Oops, Fedor hard. did not have the hand, unfortunately. So a $7,600 pot goes over to Victor's way with that massive raise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Samco says, my brother Victor is really drunk. Yeah, I mean, he's had about two and a half bottles of wine right now. He's as drunk as my camera is. Listen, guys, if we get to a thousand likes on the video, um, I'll give away something else, okay? I'm going to give away, because um, now now I'm just feeling bad for Gigi. You know, I mean, this is like, hey, and people in the chat keep fucking talking about it. So I'm going to end it now, all right? What do you guys want? What can I give you guys? <laughs> Do you want my heads up trophy? I won from Bally's. I'll give it. Oh, no, I'm not going to give you guys that one. Block bet here from Fedor. King nine. I like that. Top pair. Victor. Don't do it, Poppy. Six, four off suit. Mm. <laughs> What is it, this camera? Seriously. He does raise it. 6-4. Mm -hmm. Snap call by Fedor. Nice hand. Fedor snaps it off. Doesn't even give him time to think about it. <laughs> I hate when that happens when you bluff and they instantly call. I, I, I hate when that happens, man. I hate when that happens. It's so... God, dude. It feels so... Is there a better... Oh, my gosh, though. Is there a better feeling than when you try to induce some guy to bluff you and he bluffs you and you snap call him? And he and he's like, oh, and just like he has that dejected look on his face. He drops a little bit. He's like, ah. he like taps the table, throws his cards in. You're good. <sighs> Great poker feeling right there. Uh, three bet here. Pocket jacks doesn't four bet. Ace queen offsuit for Fedor. Eight eight five. So will will Victor ever race here? I don't. I don't. I don't, I don't know. Oh, jack on the turn. Okay. Okay. Jack on the turn for, for, for Limitless. He's going to take a, a, a chip stack, ladies. He gets up. He's balancing his get-up range right now. Doesn't want the Young Prince to know. The Young Prince has ace-queen offsuit, but he's not a big bear. He's not a big blaster. He, nice nice check silver, Victor. What a, what a move right here. He walks away when he turns the full house. <laughs> That's so funny. He comes back. Oh, what do I got? Oh, look at that. I just got a full house. And casually checks it back. 
Oh man, River is the six. Uh, I would, you know, you would have liked to see. You would have liked to see a little something on this river. Fedor is not going to do it. We've seen him bet. You oh, he doesn't do it. Okay. Let's see what size Victor goes with here. He's got to know Fedor doesn't have that strong of a hand. Just <laughs> get up range. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go, but small. The fake tell, what's Fedor gonna do? I mean, he beats some hands, doesn't he? Queen 10, King Queen. 9, 10. What's Fedor gonna do? Is he gonna make the hero call? Not gonna work out for the young prince. He's got to be thinking, what does this guy have? What can I beat? Can I call with this wide of a range? I mean, ace of spades in his hand maybe matters a little mm -hmm. bit. Queen. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Vader's in the tank. We got it. We should get a celebration from Victor if he wins this one. Fader, not sure what to do here. Usually when I sense that, I fold. I think he's going to make the right fold here. He's made the right fold in all these spots so far. The young prince seems flustered. I know that look. He's going to lay it down. Nice fold by Fedor. Fedor thought about making the hero call there. Limitless. He said, hmm, I, didn't get I rewarded. Said, you hate right. to see it. I mean, he did the whole fake get up thing and he came back. Oh, Chuck, you know, he did the whole, he tried to put on a little Hollywood show there. And uh, a strong hand. you would have loved to see that get rewarded Wilkerson right. style. But uh, he just takes it down. Nothing uh -huh. to see there. Here we go. Lock in. Another could be a four bet alert here. Ace queen offsuit for Fedor. Five, six suited for Victor. Starting to like the whole cards now. <laughs> so by six suited, I think Victor is going to continue with this hand. We might see our first four bet, our second four bet pot of the day. Here we go. King eight deuce. Not a good board for Victor. Backdoor flush draw, backdoor straight draw. Fedor with the ace queen. Going to have those ace kings, pocket kings in his range. Victor's not going to have a ton of those, but we also haven't seen many four bets. So maybe Victor would potentially have more ace kings pre-flop here we most the standard would be to five bet but we haven't really seen a five bet yet so so we're going with a very small bet in victor like i said now yeah. yeah pretty close match right here i mean i think uh i like i mean limitless this guy is an animal bro i mean you've seen this guy play and you know whether you you can say what you want to say about it, some of those decisions that some people are upset about they don't you know think they're good but the guy's putting a lot of pressure on you and this is kind of what i said earlier is that uh a spade or check raises here so this is going to be a little misstep for our young prince but it makes sense 10 8 off suit uh, yeah, yeah. yeah it seems a little loose but he does uh check raise victor calls turns a five so top pair top kicker for victor fedor when he gets called here victor's going to have some queens some jacks 9 10 king 10 ace king flush draws as well too Maybe ace 10, right? Yeah, I'd play. What was the weak sand here, guys? Ace 10? If 9 10, 9 10, probably, yeah. Maybe 8 8 10 of clubs, but Fedor's got a club. So here we go. Big pot energy starting to brew. Limitless currently getting himself in fire mode. Fedor pots it. Okay, here we go. Victor, obviously enjoying this right now. He only loses to Queen Jack, he loses to Queen 3, Jack 3, and Pocket 3s. So not very little, I mean, not everyone's raising queen three here and jack three here. People aren't raising jack three at all. So they just don't have enough value hands to be raising with here. So, and Victor does call rivers a seven. So Fedor has a 10 in his hand, a little bit relevant because he's going to block some of the draws that he wants Victor to have. Victor nine, 10, king 10, ace 10. He doesn't have any diamonds, which is good. And uh, <laughs> this might not do it, the young prince. Here we go. Here we go. Oh boy. 
Our first misstep for the Prince. What's he going to go with if he bats? I don't think he's going to do it, guys. But he might feel like he needs to. 10-8 offsuit, missed gutter. Check raise flop, bet turn. Uh, nervous for him, you know? Here we go, 16,000 in the middle. Balance in his tank range. I guess he is going to go for it. He does go for it, 11,000. <laughs> Victor takes a big chug of wine. <laughs> he doesn't snap call though. I don't know. No, 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 no. Oh God, no. No, Victor. No, buddy, stop it. Don't, don't overthink it. Just hit the call button and take it down. <laughs> don't overthink it, Poppy. Yeah, I'll use my randomizer. Sometimes call, sometimes hold. We'll see. Don't overthink yeah. it. He does call. $38,000 pot goes over to Victor's way. <laughs> Vader holds it on a line. <laughs> Oh boy. Yeah, I mean, you know, a tough board to the problem work. starts on the flop, that flop check raise. It's a little light. You know, once, if you get through, you feel good. You get called, you end up in some tricky spots on later streets. And uh, I mean, you could debate that's a pretty good run out for 10 8. You know, the diamonds don't get there, the straight draws don't get there. He puts a lot of pressure on that jack if, if Limitless has a hand like an ace jack, king jack. So Fader did get a little unlucky with the great run out, but. Uh, I thought Victor was gonna lay that down, and I swear to God, I was gonna lose. I was gonna, I was gonna. Uh, I don't know what I was. Gonna, I was gonna sit here and keep commentating, right? But I'm just imagining the the reaction from the peanut gallery on that one. So, so a few more hands left here. Maybe three, maybe two. Ace three suited, three bet and a call. Queen Jack six board, backdoor flush for Victor. Fedor has top pair, backdoor straight draw. Not the best board for Victor, but I can't go wrong betting this flop, especially with the backdoor draw. And, and I mean, yeah, it was pot. Fader's not going anywhere here. Does have top pair. Victor's going to hope for a, a pretty uh, favorable run out. Turns a jack of clubs. Okay. Doesn't seem like a good card. <laughs> Fader's probably going to be calling any queen, jack, straight draws, flush draws. So that is uh, terrible for the ace high. Let's see if Fader decides to check back here. I saw my man show a force in the chat earlier. Shout out to Dan. What's up, brother? Hope you're doing well. <laughs> so Fader deciding to check her bet. Does check back. River's a king. We actually saw this kind of run out happen earlier where Victor had... Uh, he had the queen 10. It was a queen jack jack just like this. River was a king and Fader had ace king and he bet for value and uh, limitless call pretty quickly. So let's see if Victor goes with that same bet check bet line. Yeah, it looks like he's gonna, nope, checks it. Okay. Check, check, there we go. Queen 10 gets the showdown. Little pot for Fader to end this session. This time, randomizer didn't help me. <laughs> we had it's funny that we had almost exactly a similar spot before when I had ace king. Yeah, 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 yeah. I didn't get that. I can't sit out next oh. hand, can you? Yeah, sure, I can, no problem. Okay, because I, for some reason, I cannot. Mm -hmm. 